I noticed more tension between the administration and the legislature last year than I did previous sessions. I think it's something even the governor Mm -hmm. um, acknowledged, that there was some frustration. A lot of that had to do with the budget. We we have a difficult difficult economy, sure. Any any thoughts on, you know, are there any changes or, or... or ways that the administration can kind of resolve that with the legislature yeah. uh, this coming session? You know, the legislature is going to have to resolve conflicts within the legislature right. uh, there. And so we're going to be very helpful. I, I think the way that we can help is give good information uh, to lawmakers. You know, when they ask, we want to be very responsive uh, to them. Um, and that's something that Sam and I have been, you know, since day one. Uh, so I, I think that I think that's helpful. Also, I think you will see a lot of different ideas coming from many different groups of people, and so there will be some challenges there. Um, how do we resolve those? I think you let those good ideas float to the top. The governor is going to provide some leadership in that direction on where we're going as a state. That's the governor's role, and you will you will see him you know making you know a very solid budget proposal. You will see him making policy proposals that lead Kansas to be the best place to have a family and have a, have a business. What, what's your role going to be this session? I mean, I know yeah. there were a couple points last session where you know, when there was high stakes votes, I would notice that you'd be on the House and Senate floor. Oh, are you going to be? I mean, part of that was me just being observing, but are you going to be somebody who's communicating lawmakers oh, you know, sure. what's your role I always I always talk I always talk to the lawmakers and always you know accessible the governor is very accessible too I mean, when I was in the legislature governors weren't as accessible as uh, Sam was um, but I think that you know as as a former legislator and I was a newbie once now I've been now I'm kind of an old guy here in one sense um, but uh, as a legislator I'm very happy to help them, you know, with information and some of these complex programs and how did we do that before? Um, I think that'll be very helpful. Um, you know, for me, my job is lieutenant governor, and essentially Sam is the CEO and I'm the COO, uh, and I will, you know, help him get, you know, the goals of the administration, you know, done and. You know, and we'll work with the legislature. One of, one of the goals that he's put you in charge of mm-hmm. is addressing access, medical access in the rural parts of Rural health care. How's yes. the, the rural health initiative going? Sure. Let's, you can update me on um, that. Rural health care is a giant issue for the state and has been for 20 years and will be for a long time in the future. What we need to do is make some really good first moves. For example, how can we help rural hospitals uh, that one of the things that's happened is Obamacare in the federal government cut money from Kansas hospitals for care for senior citizens. Um, How do we help them survive uh, with those cuts and with the economy going south? We have some great ideas there. I think you're going to see some opportunities in the manpower space. Uh, We've heard um, you know, not only do you need more medical students in the state of Kansas, for example, and we're building a new medical school, um, but how do you train more people in their residency programs? You're more likely to stay in the state if you do your residency training uh, overall. And we think there are some great opportunities there that may be to draw down additional federal funds uh, to accomplish these goals. 